Welcome to Samstar Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna play Starport Delta which comes out on the 27th of March and this is like a space station builder so let us begin. Now we're gonna be playing Sandbox but before we do that I kind of want to show you off a little bit of the campaign because I think it's really genius the way they kind of put the story in the campaign so let me show it off. Good to see you are on your way to Station 837 Commander. The station chief is very new. I have been told he is keen on getting started as they prepare for terraforming. Oh, uh, hi there. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, your, um, highness. You will have to forgive Stexon. He is still learning the ropes. Sorry, just getting the hang of all these new systems. Hopefully you could point me in the right direction, Commander. I am detecting high levels of enthusiasm combined with low levels of intellect. The use of small words is advised. Admiral, where did you say this kid is from? I didn't. His father owns Stexon Industries, the Empire's biggest defense contractor, and he has personally requested this posting for his son. Ah, so he's super qualified then. His acquisition of the post is due to his other merits. Baby steps. Got it. Don't you love that? I love how it's kind of they're talking from the frames and it's just really really cool. Now, the reason why we're not doing the campaign and we're doing the sandbox is because there's a lot of waiting involved in the campaign. We're kind of waiting to get enough money to do stuff and things like that so that's why. Alright so I started the sandbox so up here actually there's no pause button in the game so the only way I can pause is actually if I click like escape. So uh, first of all we have these sort of like um markers on each hex which so show you what is available this purple thing right now is a shield first thing i'm gonna build is a power plant i'm gonna place let's place it this way i think then we're gonna need oxygen plants so we're gonna place it like so and then we're going to add food now the way you want to add the food is you don't want to make sure that there are at least three tr three uh, triangle hexes that are filled with both oxygen energy and food so food is green oxygen is blue and energy is yellow so we're going to place over and we've got a triangle over here and then there we can place a house so we can see we have our very first house if i click on the house i can get up to 20 population currently i've got zero and they're going to pay us money well, they're going to pay us taxes once they get in. Now, why did I say three squares? Well, because if you build three next to each other, it's going to turn into one bigger one. So you can show it off right now. Okay. And it just becomes one really big and fancy one. And this means that we get 60, which is the three times 20, but we also get 24 bonus because it was an upgrade. So we can actually fit more people in. It's going to help us out a lot because we need to get positive taxes. Now, you could add... A garden actually we don't have it unlocked yet but uh, later on we could add a garden which essentially makes the people go there faster what we are going to build now are defense lasers so you can see that it's going to give this little red thing to where it applies so you want to place it somewhere where we've got energy but we don't necessarily I think we might place it over here let's do it Shields play the important role of protecting yeah, so we can add some shield. We only have like one basic shield, but we can essentially build more and you're going to get a little bit more shielding. I don't know quite where it. This is a good place for a house, so we definitely don't want to place it there. We could build the shields here, potentially. It's not going to cover everything, though. And it, I'm not going to build the shield yet because the shield it costs quite a lot of money to upkeep. So we might do it a little bit later. We're going to need to build it at some point so we can unlock like new stuff. But I think first I'm just going to build one more house over here. And this is going to allow us to take a lot more people. Now aside from the basic thing, you also have these little tasks which gives you extra money. So find the developer. Cloudfire Studios has lost one of its developers. Find the miscreant and deal with them. So if you click on this, you see all these people are blue. But it might be that some of these people will be green like this which means we found the culprit we can either take him home uh, rescue him or we can kill him uh, or yeah put him into or we're gonna rescue him if you kill him you get slightly better rewards but you're more likely to be target of pirates and other kind of enemies so we finished that we need to find a stowaway now some of the station residents reported their food going missing find the stowaway and deal with it so we've got another one over here this is going to give us a little bit of resource i think it gives like a hundred if i don't know if you saw it there we can kind of do stuff like this. Actually, it tells you the reward right here. Now, I'm going to build the shield now so we can unlock some new things. 
So let's. What if I build the shield here? Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's do that. Let's add it some shields this way and a little bit up that way. We might actually build another electricity thing to kind of go further in that direction. We'll see. We do got the protection on this level. The only thing that's unprotected is the defense laser, which I think is fine. Alright, so we're gonna get our very first enemies. Uh, we probably could build another defense laser, but it has an upkeep of... What is the upkeep? 50. Well, we could afford that, I think. Having one defense laser inside the shield area is not a bad thing. Okay, so we've got... Are those the enemies? Yeah. Oh, and we don't have the range on that. Okay, okay. We have to quickly build a turret. Come on, where's the turret? Yeah, defense laser. Let's build it over there. Because we do not have a range on the enemies. Okay, let's build another one there. Alright. We killed it off. That was good. We are going to, however, need to repair these buildings. Alright, we did it. Kill the enemies, repaired our ships. All good now. Make 400 per month, so that's really, really good. Lost pet. One of our residents unfortunately let her pet Turposians spoof out to roam the station. Find and return it to her. Yeah, we've got the little pet here. Let's save it. A little bit of money. We've got some really good monthly income. Now, next thing we can do is we can build a mining depot. She's essentially going to have ships that are going to be moving here towards the, the asteroid here and grab... Grab... Um, well, essentially get ourselves material and place it over here. Yeah, so this is the garden I've been talking about. Essentially, if our houses weren't filled, so they're almost filled over here and this one is almost filled up. So actually we don't need it, but if you wanted to get sort of like uh, houses filled up faster, it's a good idea to build a garden. We're not going to do it. We might do it later if we choose to build like in another, you know, like electricity, food and uh, oxygen hub over here. So it might just be okay with like electricity and oxygen hub here. If you were to place electricity, let's say here. And then possibly oxygen here. You get another three-way house in here. So as soon as we got the money, we're gonna build three more houses. This should really help us out with increase the metal activity in the area. Make sure the station is shielded. Yeah, we are kind of shielded. Shielded. Not everything is shielded, but the only thing not shielded are these two things. I don't really want to build another shield, so we're just gonna hope for the best. All right. What's that? Oh, yep. I'm really glad we got that shield. But it's alright, we can easily fix this. We've got 600. How much does a house cost? I think it's a thousand. Thousand. Okay, so we need to wait a little bit before we can build our very first house. This might actually be a good idea to also build a, build a garden here. We'll see. Uh, like here? If Well, actually, we don't have. Yeah, the garden doesn't need food, I think. Or does it? It doesn't seem... Yeah, we can build a garden here. I just want to show it off. And then we can have a repair, a repair depot, which is going to automatically repair the buildings. After that, we can build a trade depot, which will allow us to trade the thing that we got from the mining. Because we, you can see here the materials that we get, and we can essentially sell it for more money. Not quite yet, but soon. I need to wait till we get a thousand. Then we can build a house here. Yep. Infestation. Some of our food farms are reporting large infestation of Zark beetles. Find and exterminate them. So our food is, I think, here. Food farm. Yeah, we're gonna destroy this. Good. Gives us a little bit of money. And we can zoom in real close. I've gotta say, I really like how beautiful this game is. Look at that. I like the shield, for example. The shield looks kind of epic. And the garden here. Really nice. I like it a lot. Yeah, we should be covered everywhere with our defense turrets, so we're not gonna worry about it too much. Alright, let's uh, build some more housing. One more house inside, and we should be covered. 
600 is really good. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. Are there... Are... Oh, seriously? Come on. A lot of defense laser here, then. Are very nicely destroying the enemies? Good. We'll fix this. This cost us 421 to fix. Yeah, that's not a problem. You can just wait till we've got that money. The enemies are always coming from like the direction where we don't have the the defense. But now we have def defense in every direction. Now we're fine. Took us a little while, but we got here. I really want to build this house here because then we could get that 24 upgrade for people. Should be really nice. Otherwise, we're supposed to find a developer. Developer, let's search our housing then. Where's our big housing? Oh, he's not here. So then here. Oh, a building is inactive because our food is not repaired. Okay, now it's repaired. And where is that developer? Enter cash reserves. So we have had to deconstruct. Are you talking about my expensive? I have 700 cash flow. Like, calm down, robotic AI. I've got no problem with money. Can't find that developer though. Developer is hiding. Oh, he's here. Let me go find him. All right, we can now build the last house. It's gonna give us another three, co three co connection of houses. Just gonna increase our cash flow significantly, which is very, very nice. And now we don't have to worry about space pirates anymore because we've got, got defense lasers in every direction. We do not have shields in every direction, but like, we've got something, okay? That's fine, that's fine. Uh, building a corridor. Help your public get from A to B, transport them to a central hub where they can stop briefly to admire the view. Yeah, we don't really need to. Oh, we could connect it like this. I don't think we need to do that. Yeah, we're not gonna bother. All right, so yeah, next thing we gotta do is build a Raper Depot, but that's probably gonna take a while before we can get to 7,000. So at the moment, we're just gonna wait till we, we've got a thousand cash flow though. Let's see, find the stowaway. All right, let's do that. Uh, this time we're gonna kill him. Kill the stowaway. That's what you get for going into my house. The penalty is death. <laughs> we're a bit cruel, but that's all right. <laughs> that might have been very rough. Now I could potentially start building more houses, but I don't think we need to. Yeah, we still haven't even got this fully. So I think that's all right. The garden here is pretty fine. So we'll just see. We've got four and a half thousand. We're very quickly going to get to seven thousand. Now I'll build the repair depot so that next time if our buildings get hurt, we can actually pretty easily fix it. Oh, another was path. Where was the path last time? Was it in the regular houses? I think it was in regular housing, wasn't it? Yep. We'll rescue it. Make the owner happy. See how this goes. I would like to build it later on potentially another mining depot. But, oh, we can also look at these asteroids here. Look at that. That looks kind of epic. Doesn't it? That looks really, really cool. I like that a lot. And we're gonna move. We, we, yeah, we actually don't get that many. I thought we'd get more materials. We might later on want to build more mining depots, but right now we first need to build this repair depot. Let's build it um, somewhere where it has electricity. It doesn't need to have anything else. Yeah, let's build it here. Yeah, so this is telling us about trade hubs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Long range sensors for picking up what? More enemies? Or radiation? Uh, what's that? And she let me attack. Yeah, we're fine. All good. All good. Ooh, meteor activity. That's not great. Okay, we destroyed the enemies very easily. Now we've got that repair depot. Was it? Yeah, here. So we should have our drones that should be automatically be flying around to fix things. Can I zoom in on this? Yes, I can. It does look very good. I gotta say, the look of this game is fantastic. All right, a uh, trade hub. Trade hub cost me 5,000, so I should almost have money for it. Whoa, okay, this is gonna hurt. That's all right, we've got, we should have drones that should fix this by themselves. Come on, drone. Why aren't you fixing my repair depot? 
Oh, it doesn't have a range here? Oh, come on. Fine, I'll fix it myself. I'll fix it myself. You don't want to do it. It's all right. In that case, we want to build a trade hub kind of near this. So build it under this. We've got the shield here. Do not have the defense with the turrets though, but we'll, we'll hope for the best. Oh, trade hub actually doesn't need electricity. In that case, we could build it here. Sure. Let's do that. Got ourselves a trade up. Now we can pick one of these options. So either the Tropos would like to trade with it. They're offering 100 tons in exchange for 300 money. No, we want to sell our materials. So we want to pick this one. They're offering 300 bucks, or I think it's Bitcoin actually, in exchange for 100 uh, materials. All right, we'll take that. I'll tell myself the humans. They're going to pay us for people? Can we sell people? We can. Wait, what? <laughs> We can sell humans? <laughs> what the? <laughs> we're gonna think that we're not selling them. We're actually like giving them a great opportunity to go to a different space station. We only take volunteers and the other space station needs new people. So they just might pay for it. <laughs> we're not gonna do it. We only have one, one uh, deal per trade hub. So since we pick the materials, we're actually gonna sell that. Now, since we pick the materials, we might as well want to build more mining depots so that our people can, you know, get more stuff. So let's build it over here. Yeah, I'm just on it. Calm down. Building function impaired perform maintenance repairs to restore full function. Now I assume as usual that it's not in range of my beautiful repair depot. So I do it myself. That's perfectly fine. Now I've got two mining depots. We can actually look at the way this kind of ships fly towards the asteroid there. Actually, I, I could just straight up go there actually. Once then, once they come back again, yeah, and we can see that they're kind of shooting at this to get some materials, and then once they're filled up, they're gonna fly back. Look at that! Looks really nice. Right, let's go back home again. Ooh, why do we have negative? Oh, it's because that that population thing got empty, right? So we need to we need to repair this. I'm gonna build one more a repair depot here. Because it's really irritating that if you can kind of like forget for a second. Oh, this one costs 7,000 though. And it's going to need electricity. Okay, fine. We're not, we won't do it. 1,500 though is what we've got with a cash flow, which is amazing. Our cash flow is just off the charts. Yeah, I've got you here. No, not you. You, developer. Found you. And yeah, I, I would like to build more of these mining depots actually. Let's build another one here, but we can't. I don't know if resources could construct a building. We need only we need 70 of these. So we might actually want to stop with the trading for a moment to make sure that we get enough materials. So we're gonna stop this. Oh, it actually it completely disappears. Okay, I thought we could just stop it temporarily, but it's just gonna be like, no. Apparently they're offended. Like, how dare you stop trading with us? gonna pay the price for that do you want to do the human thing oh no it's back okay good 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 we'll take it again later but i want to make sure that i can first build another mining depot because we aren't uh, providing as quickly as we'd like Wait, right, can we kill them off we can't hit this one so we're gonna need to build another defense laser here finish that one off We'll repair this. Oh, this. Where's the thing that needs repairing? Oh, it's because we don't have enough material, so we can only repair it like a little bit. I see, that's interesting. But this actually should be in range of the repair drone, so I shouldn't be the one who needs to repair it. Okay. Now, can I build now my mining depot? There. Well, still don't have 70 materials. We have 11,000 though. We could potentially, what we could do is we could temporarily just buy the materials. Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna, we're gonna pay money for materials because we've got so much money. We're flying in money. And we could just build the mining depot up after they bring us our first, you know. There. Come on. Give me my stuff. I need a trade ship here. 
Repair Depot inact inactive. Okay, let's repair that. And we've got we've still got 18 only. Okay, now we've got 123, so we're gonna build a mining depot here. And potentially another one where I think it needs to have both. Yeah, we still don't have enough resources for that. Does it need to have oxygen? I think so, yeah. Come on, uh, let's build it here. And then we're gonna go back towards... Actually, we're not gonna change the trade deal. Well, do we want to change the trade deal? How much does it cost us? 300, so it's the same deal. So as we can sell it back for the same price as soon as we've got a bit, bit of a backup. Yeah, 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 I'm on it. I'm on it, AI. I know what to do. All right, well, I think this is a good time to end the episode. This is Starport Delta. I hope you enjoyed it. And you can click on the right to watch some other city builders like Cliff Empire or The Last Haven. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.